In the previous video, we walked through an example of Factory Talk Design Studio's modern software development practices using smart objects. Next, we'll cover how these smart objects are organized and managed via Factory Talk Design Studio's integrated library management system under the library pane. Navigating to the library pane, we see add-on instructions or AOIs, user-defined tags or UDTs, and the new Factory Talk smart objects. Users can create standard, reusable, application-specific code to be easily implemented throughout a project. We'll start by looking at the new header that was added to the library. Notice the original header definition indicates no program inheritance, while the new gen header definition indicates the return program is linked to the original header definition indicated by the box around the program icon. The supply program shows it has been overridden from the original definition and now derives from the new gen header definition. This gives users a glimpse into the inheritance genealogy between the new and legacy code, facilitating code management and standardization. When comparing add-on instructions to smart objects, AOIs have the same look and feel. They follow encapsulation, definition, and inheritance concepts. However, one big advantage to SOs when it comes to modularity is the ability to encapsulate multiple programs and routines versus one big routine. Having smaller, more manageable pieces of code enhances modularity and reusability.